When I asked y'all why did Terrence Crawford, hold on, they calling me Mac Marty in the chat. Oh, yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now, now, when I tried to ask you all, I tried to be fair, and I tried to ask you all, why did Terrence Crawford go over to Victor Conti? I've been hearing all these different answers. L2, who is the friend of Terrence Crawford, he's close enough to him. He might, he not, might not be that close to him, but he's close enough to know uh, Terrence Crawford personal enough to be in his mom's house, know where, he's, know where he lives. He also lives down the street from Crawford's gym. He's cool with Terrence Crawford, and he's also best friends with Terrence Crawford's nephew. This is what he said to me and all of us when he came up here twice. Salute to LC wherever he's at. He said, when I asked him, why do he think Crawford went to Victor Conti? He said, his words, not mine. I can pull it up right now. Because Terrence Crawford believed and was hearing that Aero Spence is bigger than him and stronger than him. That's a good enough reason to want to enhance your performance against Spence. The problem is Terrence Crawford fans are basically contradicting that by saying Errol Spence is a, is a, is a flat-footed fighter. He fights like he's still in the amateurs, according to Bo Mack. He keeps his head on the line. He don't have enough power. He don't really have no defense. His footwork is not good. It's contradicting why Terrence Crawford went over there because if all these things are true about Errol Spence's deficiencies, that makes absolutely no sense of why he went over there. When I finish with this super chat, I'm going to play you an interview that I was trying to hold on to this, y'all, but I got to let it fly out tonight. I'm going to show y'all an interview. Two years. Two. I need y'all to reach your phone. Reach your phone. Two years before, Vic, before Crawford even went to the snack program. In 2019, these are Victor Conti's words. I'm going to play it for you when he's asked a question about the fight between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. And we're going to hear what he said and tie that in to what LC said. And we're going to finally hear the truth. Hold on for a minute. Double salute. So watch for the hook. Thank you for your contribution and your support to the channel. Watch for the hook says D35 getting cooked. Now, I don't know why that super chat didn't end up in my star comments. Um, I don't know what's going on with uh, the stream yard. I don't know why it's acting up, but thank you again for your contribution. Watch for the hook. Now, if everybody can mute your phones, I am going to play something. And what I'm about to show you on your screen right now. Can y'all see the date? The date is March the 27th, 2019, from ES News YouTube channel. Victor Conti. I found this was, on the web. Hold on, hold on. Victor Conti was in an interview. I think ES News, I believe that's Ellie Segback. He's in an interview with Ellie Segback, ES News, March the 27th, 2019. If y'all can't see it, it's in the right. It's on the. It's on the right side of your um, of your uh, screen. Okay, that's March twenty seventh, two thousand and nineteen. These are the words of Victor Conti. Two years before Terence Crawford went to the Snack Program. Okay, Crawford's first fight with the Snack Program was against Sean Porter. Okay, in November of twenty twenty one. So he went to the snack program in 2021. But two years prior, 2019, March 27th, 2019, here are the words of Victor Conti himself when he's asked by Ellie Sekback what is his position and who he think will win the fight between Errol Spence Jr., the truth, and Terrence Bud Crawford. You know what? I'm doing way too much talking. Don't take my word for it. Roll the tape. So, Victor, let me ask you. We just saw Spence fight Mikey. What do you think about Spence Crawford about that? Um, 
I think it's a great fight. I like both guys. Um, you know, we learned that uh, Spence is the truth. He deserves all the props in the world. Um, and I say that in part because I had some uh, suspicion about really any boxer, including um, Spence, about you know the possible use of, of drugs. But he did 11 weeks of VADA. Uh, and he still performed as the truth. So as far as I'm concerned, he's a clean boxer. So props to him, props to Derek James, his, his trainer. They did a great job. Um, you know, he did, he had a great game plan and was victorious. So all the props in the world to, to him. Those are very nice individuals. They're very cool. They're chill. They're not in. trash. And they're... I've got all the respect in the world for, for both, uh, Earl and and Derek and now on to your question about about um, that is a very tough call I think it's a 50 50 fight I like both guys um, Terrence has, has got tremendous skills he's really got the dog factor too that I like uh, but I think Earl's got the dog factor going for him too he's a little more uh, reserved about it but um, I think one thing we learned about about Earl is, like they say, don't be talking smack against the high school football team that you're getting ready to play because they'll take everything that you say and post it up on the locker room and it'll do nothing but fire them up. I think that, that Earl was highly motivated and uh, came in there and did a great job. And we'll have to see how, if and when they fight, how the, the buildup goes. But... I would say it's a 50-50 fight. I mean, I respect both guys. I think they're both uh, tremendous um, fighters, and I want that fight to really see, you know, who is the pound-for-pound pound number one. I think that Earl's the bigger guy. Um, he's always been a, a 47, but I really think he's a 54, and that's... All right, that's enough. We've heard enough. You see, those are the words of Victor Conti in 2019, March 27th of 2019. Y'all heard Victor Conti. He said that it's a 50-50 fight between Crawford and Spence, but he also stated that Errol Spence is the bigger fighter. You see, when Victor Conti say things, I noticed, I, I proved this last night, Ironheart, when he say things, nobody says anything. It's cool. Nobody hold him accountable. Nobody say he's insinuating. Nobody, everybody let him get away with it. I'm going to rewind the tape. And I want to hear him again say what he really felt about Errol Spence. Don't take my word for it. Roll the tape. So, Victor, let me ask you. We just saw... Spence fight Mikey. What do you think about Spence Crawford about that? Um, I think it's a great fight. I like both guys. Um, you know, we learned that uh, Spence is the truth. He deserves all the props in the world. Um, and I say that in part because I had some uh, suspicion about really any boxer, including um, Spence, about, you know, possible use of, of drugs, but he did 11 weeks of VADA, uh, and he still performed as the truth. So as far as I'm concerned, he's a clean boxer. So when Victor Conti said he was suspicious of Errol Spence using performance enhancement drugs in 2019, when Victor Conti can say that he did 11 weeks of VADA testing, he still performed like he was the truth. So in my book, he's a clean fighter. So when he's suspicious of Errol Spence in 2019, ain't nobody on YouTube had a problem with that. He had no evidence. But then when I come out and say I'm suspicious of him, when I come out, manager Marty, and say I'm suspicious of the snack fighters, now I'm insinuating. Now I'm doing undertones. Now I'm just conflating things. Now I'm just reaching. 
Well, how come he get away with having suspicions of Errol Spence and get away with it? But then if me and other people have suspicions of Terrence Crawford, it's a problem. Not only that, he said, but since Spence did 11 weeks of VADA testing, he's a clean boxer in my book. But we don't have any evidence of Terrence Crawford doing no VADA testing. So how can we give him the same clearance that Victor gave Spence? You see what I'm saying? I need answers. Can somebody help me understand this, please?